music. Talk about astrology. Oh, do you play any instruments? Oh, no, I do not. I am Marilyn's appointments, but I am strictly their antics man. Oh, okay. I am, uh, besides Abraham Lincoln, uh, you can pick up their new 7-inch, which is She's a Better Girl Than You, B-Side, You're a Better Man Than Me. Um, this is my first uh, listed appearance under a Disappointments uh, release, and uh, I am known as the Fancy Lad. And, uh, it's okay if I uh, give the uh, Disappointments address, the web address. Oh, yeah. www.staybitter.com Because if there's anything the disappointments in me and Abraham Lincoln are good at, it's stay bitter. Staybitter.com I have to agree with that. I'm bitter. I'm bitter also. Oh, really? What are you bitter about? I just, um, okay, I was having sex with my ex-boyfriend just to have sex with him and and to have sex. Oh, that doesn't work. Well, Sex one last time. Oh my god. Uh, it's like when you're done, you're like, okay, what do you want to do now? Well, I'm gonna go home. And it's like it doesn't work. Well see this sex is really good. It was really good sex. Oh, it was. It was awesome, but well the sex is always good. That was the only thing that was good. The rest of it was uh, like a horrible night because he's like I really think we should go out. <laughs> Maybe we I don't know. I don't know. Jazz give it a thumbs up. <laughs> Well, we do seem to have some things in common. Wait, can you, wait, we got your birthday on tape, because I gotta, like, check you out astrologically. You can check me out. I'm very nice. I'm a Scorpio of the Moon in Pisces. That's, like, this nice moon. Oh, that is that's Oh, okay. Well, it does to me. No, it's not. I can find out if you're a super freak or if you're, you know, a nice guy. I'm a Taurus. April 28th. Tauruses are all right. They're stand-up, usually, you know. Usually, usually. So breakup sex is, well, I really screwed up that I've had sex with my ex-boyfriend for like four months. <laughs> I had like three various sections of breakup sex with the same person. <laughs> I, I just didn't learn. <laughs> just stop, wow. Wow, well I thought, you know, see I was thinking that free love stuff too, you know, I was thinking like... Yeah, that's what I thought when I first got it. So I was like, hey, your husband doesn't mind? You know, sure, I'll go for that. Yeah, right, right. It's too bad most of people who think of free love are just nuts. <laughs> that's true, you're right, you're right. You're, yeah. <laughs> and you know what? No matter what they say, their spouse does care. What? <laughs> yeah, that's true. I, I don't see how there, they there's, there's no such thing as like a three-way free love. Hey, I love you, but you can sleep with this other person. It doesn't work that way. I, you know, you know what it is? It's like the wish that it would work that way. Oh, yeah. But it doesn't. The wish that I can love them. It's too much energy. You can't, you can't be putting all that and, and then be like, yeah, and I'm going to put it here and I'm going to put it there and I'm going to put it down here. And yeah, what happens when, you know, like, hey, I'm going to put it here and here and like, oh, you want to put it somewhere else? No, that's not yeah, happening. Yes. Yes. It's true. Polygamy does not work. You're here, you heard it here first. <laughs> It's so. It's a well, nice concept. It's completely American. You know, it's true. I even had these two friends, and they were gay. They were dudes, right? And um, I was, I tried to. But they were more them. than gay. They were dudes. They were gay dudes. <laughs> Did they like? It was kind of like the any port and storm thing, but it didn't work because they got jealous. Of me. They got jealous. They got jealous. See, and they were gay. They didn't want to have sex with women, but they still got fucking jealous. What the hell? Speaking of which, you see, dude, where's my car? <laughs> Oh, I'd like to do a little impromptu movie review with my May. I went to go see 
see Dude, Where's My Car? You know, if you see the commercials, you know, it, it might, it's going to be stupid. We all know that. Yeah, right. It might be funny stupid, though. It was so horrifically bad. It's out of theaters already, so you can't go see it. But do not rent this movie. <laughs> the plot involved, like, a, uh, It's bad! The plot involved a race of alien beings trying to search for a, uh, ultimate universe-destructing weapon. Wait, you're making that up, are you? I am not. Oh, alien no. beings using two stupid guys to get to a universe-destructing, like, weapon. Terribly bad. Worse than you could ever imagine. Don't go see it. I paid to see it. People are going to be curious now, you realize it. That's going to make them curious. They're going to be like, worse than I can imagine. How bad could that be? I mean, it, like, it, it surpasses, like, even, like, so bad it's funny. It's just bad. Do you want to interview for a while? try to share. Yeah. Because you know what? What? We're here to make people happy. We are. It's true. That's why positive people are And speaking of show. which, the Cassiophonic Marching Band will be making people happy next February 16th at Nietzsche. Yeah, that's right. Did you notice our Look, Wait, wait. Oh, oh. These are great colors. And I'm um, hoping. You do? I do. I'm, I became a vegetarian. Oh, really? Yes. Well, that's okay. You can have not dogs. Not dogs? <laughs> I, don't, I don't get not dogs. <laughs> I mean, they look like hot dogs. They Actually, they are tasty. They don't yeah. taste like hot dogs, though. Okay. Well, they, might be, tasty, they might be tasty, but they don't taste it's like a, hot it's dogs. It's a texture thing. When it's I was little ones, I ate 10 a, hot dogs in a row. Why not make them shake? I cannot believe I'm not 500 pounds. I mean, why not flatten them out and make them the cold cuts? That's, they do that, though. They do yeah. that. But they make them into not dogs. They're, like, obviously, like, as the name says, not dogs. They don't, Neither are hot they don't, dogs, Abe. Yeah, yeah, they're not dogs either. They either Whoa. taste like hot dogs or they don't. That was my beer. Your beer, he kicked your beer around. Your beer bottle went away. There wasn't much left in it, that's okay. They either taste like hot dogs or they don't, and they're obviously trying to make them look like hot dogs and sound like hot dogs. You know, I like white hots. But they're admitting like that they're not dogs. Great. Like, why do you put on your white hot? You ought to be ashamed. You don't even need, you know what white hots are made of? What? Veal. Oh my god. That's what a white hot is. It's a Please, flowers. Lord, forgive me. Please forgive me. Oh my god. That's why it's white, because it's made of veal. Little tiny baby girls! I have a little tiny dark boxes! I used to sell hot dogs at the car. You did? Yes. Where? Downtown? Albany, New York. Oh, the state right. capital. I, I, had a, wait, I, I had a dream about Albany. You have to tell me the truth. I dreamed of like, um, there wasn't much there. There was some malls. There's malls? But in the mall, like some of the malls are trying to be hip and like above malls. Like they're trying to be a little better than malls. Like, like kind of like a hipster mall, like, but it didn't work. Nobody went to the mall. Was there a mall like that there? There's, there's a mall that like is like It's like an old like building or something. Uh, Isn't they call it Cross Gates or something? Cross Gates Mall. I went to school in nearby New Paltz, New York. Uh, yeah. Cross Gates Mall is like probably the biggest mall in uh, New York State. I don't really want to like support it that much because I hate the mall and I am <laughs> leaving really pissed off. I have a bunch of, I don't remember less than much of mall. Oh no, I do. I, my mom took one. I, I go to the gallery quite a bit because they got this Adams Family Uncle Fester game. It's not really a game. It's like an arcade game type thing. It's these two metal poles. You put your hands in the metal poles and it like vibrates as to stimulate an electrical shock. And you, you, you don't the only way you can win is if you can withstand the pain long enough. Like it's like Over at the uh, the uh, Galleria, and you like that? I love it. 
Oh, man. Wait, say that again. I love it. So, thank you. Are you into other like, forms of pain, too? Or I'm just, I'm just wondering. I don't know. I could be. He's into bitterness, I, I think. certainly like that Uncle Fester game. <laughs> I'm just wondering. I'm just curious. Well, I'm a Scorpio, after all. They're curious. Strange game. Are you like where are you ranking this game? I have uh, beaten it on the highest level possible. That wow. being high out of low, medium, high. Wow. First time I did it, like my hands were numb for like 20 minutes. Though. It's a serious game. But that's all you go to in the mall is to play that game. Actually, I have to go by their work clothes. Oh, work clothes, yeah. Since uh, I don't have to wear the uniform at King Kong, which makes yeah. me infinitely cooler than everybody else that works there. <laughs> It's like, I got, I got a promotion, I'm like, hey, Do you I sit in a little room by, like, so you don't have to be out with a, you know, white floy and all that? No, I usually stay in that room, but I don't do any work. You, you don't have most of the people piss and moan when they freak out there because of some Xerox ride or? Um, I never deal with self-serve, which is probably what you deal with. I actually, you know what? Do you get to pick the kind of music that they play there? I do pick the music they play there. Yeah, you heard it. New we Wave did. 80s. We did that. New that's Wave what, 80s. We said, how come there's me. always these songs playing every time we come here? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm the only one that puts New Wave 80s on. I put the uh, I modern rock alternative every once in a while. Do you know that I fixed one of your copiers there and I burned myself, but this I, it's I was, it, like, I was it really say, is a like fixing those machines. Is, no, is, it, is it like the Uncle Fester game? People are very stupid. Like, oh, there's a paper jam. Like, well, like what's the screen telling you to do? You know? It's like, well, that, yeah. I'd like to shake your hand as you can obviously I've read and follow a picture diagram. I can. I can. I'm, I'm smart. I'm a smart girl, oh, yes. I actually am a smart girl. One of those copiers, you must be. No, I know, yeah. People always come to, like, you know what? Like, a lot of your customers ask me for help because I'm like ripping the thing open and ripping paper out and changing the paper. And they're like, like, there's directions. Like, I feel bad. These little it shows ladies, you, a you know, picture. they're cute, they're clueless. They're like, can you help me? And, and I feel bad and I help them. Fuck them. <laughs> Come on. You can't say that on television, can you? Oh, it's public you can, access. You can. You, can. you can. You say fuck all the time. Fuck. 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 It's like HBO. <laughs> Not really. Like, we don't have anywhere near the budget of HBO. We have no budget. Our budget is the money it costs me to buy that camera. And no. Tape. This camera, 300 bucks. Awesome camera. You want a camera. Well, it costs us $10 to get in there. And we were at two other places videotaping bands before this. So we work hard. We work hard for the money. So hard for it. Well, you paid very much, and I'd like to give it to you a copy of your single. Well, that's that's also a good sign. Yes, yes, it is. Oh, awesome! Oh, wait, it's it's thick. There's a letter. Um, oh, there's a letter. Okay, I'm like trying to figure out what's in there. Well, actually, also too. Um, I made these copies at Kinkos and I cut them down. You did. <laughs> As a member of the disappointments, I am allowed to do stuff like that. Although I charge them if you're going to show us in the air. <laughs> <laughs> you won't show that wearing a t-shirt that I made at King Joe's and stole. And I have my laptop and I um, plugged it, I unplugged your printers and plugged it. <laughs> Will you show us your t-shirt? If you really want to see it. Yeah, I'm seeing some stripping music. Wah, 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 wah,
It's the t-shirt I made at Kinko's. It's a... Commandi, the last boy on earth. There we go. This wreck will take us nowhere. Flim flam. Drawn by uh, Jack Kirby. I'm sorry that I'm not pitching anything bad. You guys actually got a little bit of hair there. I'm sorry. That's a better. <laughs> Wait, you beat the game. So you should be okay. Yeah. Don't be a pussy boy on the now. Did you get it? I can't get the text because you keep making a shadow. Nowhere, flim flim! <laughs> Thank you. Book from the uh, early to mid 70s. You um, ever listen to uh, internet radio? Um, not really. Uh, my my computer is too slow. What kind of computer do you have? I am on an iMac. Mac also. What color? Macs are at the great zone. I just bought it. So, uh, I, I had 68040 before that. If you're Mac savvy. Uh, no, I used to buy a PC before that. Do you like your Mac better than your PC? It's a little bit easier, but it's harder to find software. What do you need? What can't you find? I mean, it's like you just gotta search more to find software you want for the Macintosh. See, I do computer graphics. Because there's this um, radio station that has old uh, radio serials, and your service is making me think. Oh, actually, speaking of old radio serials, I uh, recently downloaded off uh, the internet uh, a radio play about Abraham Lincoln. It's not X minus one, is it? X minus one? Is it the one where the person goes back in time and tries to save Lincoln? No, it's about uh, a famous, true oh, shit. murder trial that Abraham Lincoln uh, defended. It's the same murder trial in the movie Young Abraham Lincoln starring Henry Ford. <laughs> <laughs> Henry Ford. And I also uh, downloaded uh, the first three chapters of the Star Wars NPR radio serial. They did it for the first three movies. Oh, Jan knows about this apparently. And actually, like Mark Wars. Hamill and uh, Anthony Daniels supplied the voices of Luke Skywalker and R2 D2. Wow. Yeah, it's actually really nice. That's cool. It's like half hour chapters. See, there was this X minus one. It's an old science fiction radio serial from the 50s that had an Abraham Lincoln special where this person wanted to go back in time and save Abraham Lincoln because he had so many progressive ideas. I am. Uh, what do you would have to do? Yeah. They had a Twilight Zone about the same subject, in fact. That would have been after this radio serial. Yes. That's that kind of interesting. Sexy. Yeah, yeah. That's kind of interesting. Did, what happened? They couldn't save. Right? Oh, no one can ever say very like that. I wonder if it was like the same writer who decided to make like a. Uh, was it like he couldn't save him because he couldn't overwhelm the mind of the killer? He couldn't save him because. Uh, I don't really know why. <laughs> because you can't change time. Yeah, okay. The basic principle of time travel is no matter how hard you try, you cannot change time. If you try to save Abraham Lincoln, you might kill Abraham Lincoln. Yeah, that's what happened in this I think that nobody's really? let anywhere yeah, further exactly. than that. That's exactly what happened. See, I could have ridden. You could have. Maybe I went back in time and did. Really? I'm not well, saying so you did a little bit. Back in time. You wrote a radio story. So. I really like the or I tried saving Ariam Lincoln and killed us. <laughs> Maybe.